Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is DJ Shep and I thought I'd put together a very basic introduction to Serato Video. Um, I've been using Serato Video now for quite a long time. I really like it. They haven't done an update in a while, but I still like it. I still use it and I find it pretty awesome, especially for DJs who like to use interfaces like turntables and things like that. Today I'm using Technics 1200s and a Pioneer uh, mixer. Um, that's my personal setup, but you can use Serato Video if all sorts of things. So if you're into video DJing, check out my channel. I've got some live mixes up there and um, hey, you know, support me and just all you gotta do is click that subscribe button. So let's get straight into it. Um, Serato Video is very easily activated. As you can see up here, we've got this little button. At the moment it's on, I can turn it off. Um, that's your normal Serato interface. But if I click it again, on it comes. At the moment, I've got some videos queued up and the videos get queued up just like any other track. All you do is grab it and drag it in and um, it will appear. So as I move my platter back and forth, the video will move along with the music, as you can see. So as you can see, that goes along with the music. You can do this two ways. You can either uh, drag in any track and then have a whole bunch of visuals that you just drop in as you go along. So for instance, if this was playing, um, I could drag any visual I like in there. Here's some clocks doing some spinning. Here it comes, it's gonna come up, there we go. And then that's gonna be manipulated the same way I did the last one when I move it back and forth. If I wanna do something different, I've got an astronaut here, this guy here running through a tunnel. So once again, back and forth. So you can do it that way or you can pre-edit your tracks and assign uh, video and audio to it and bring it in as one file and then all you do is drop it in the one track as you would normally DJ with Serato. Um, another cool thing to keep in mind as well is your crossfader that's down here. So as you can see, it's moving from side to side. As I move it from the left to the right, you can see the different channels and you can obviously hear the different music, but you'll also see the different visuals that I have queued up on the mixer at the moment. I like to use this setting right here center quite often. Um, it's a very basic one. It just fades nicely from uh, side to side and you can manipulate it with the upper faders. It's very basic, but there's a ton of different effects that you can use. Feel free to get in there, definitely play with them, get to know them because the more you know, the more you can do on the fly as well. Um, some of them are pretty cool. As you can see, you've got grids, um, you've got different sort of uh, luma keys uh, where you can add different effects as well. This box here in the middle is our output. So let's make that a bit bigger. There we go. And this is what we choose to go out on the screens. So whether you're going to a projector or you're going to a HD TV, this is what the box that does it. So that's what you can use there as well to sort of see how it's all coming out for you. Another thing to remember as well is you've got some pretty cool effects. And not only do you have effects, you can also layer effects as well. So we'll jump back on over this side, these buttons over here. Um, so here we've got uh, all your different effects in here that you can add. Um, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, definitely get in there again and play with it. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, all you got to do is once it's rocking, click that button and activate it. You can also choose how much intensity you want it to have by just pulling this back and forth. Um, the other thing you might want to do is also layer it up as well. So layering it up just like this, you've got a second layer. So let's maybe do this one, click on and there you go. So you can see there you can do different layers. The other cool thing you can do as well is you can actually uh, layer and you can actually put a, an effect on your master as well. So you can get extremely creative within the mix. Um, I recommend trying to pre-prepare your sets as much as possible. That way when you're in the mix you can really play with these, otherwise you've got hands going everywhere. But look, there's a lot you can do with Serato Video. Um, definitely get into it, definitely give it a go. It's so much fun and when you play it out, people are just literally blown away. Um, check back for some more videos. I'm definitely going to do some more videos with this as well. So check back, subscribe and um, if you've got any questions, leave it in the comments.